Yeah, ba balanced view offers us a really great way to um, empower ourselves and live a life of complete ease. Life, if we want to la have a life with harmonious relationship, feeling at ease, knowing what to do in every situation, having insights into situations, and just having clarity in every moment, then we are really at the right place. Because that's really my experience, what I've received here, being involved in the Balanced View training. It's, it's such a um, simple approach, it keeps it very simple. The simple practice of um, taking short moments, repeated many times, whenever we remember to do so. We can relax body and mind completely for a short moment. Not trying to prolong the moment, not trying to contrive a long, long moment, but just for a short moment. If you all do that for a moment now, just relaxing completely body and mind not following off the stories that might pop up, the thoughts, emotions, sensations, just relaxing for a short moment. And that we just repeat again and again. And what I've seen in my experience that these short moments just naturally grow longer and longer. More and more I could see that I could recognize open intelligence more and more in each moment. Because that's what we're doing when we, recognize, um, when we take a short moment. We recognize open intelligence, always present, always on. The power to know. Everything that perceives, everything that hears now these words, that open intelligence, always present. It doesn't go anywhere if we have a thought or emotion that comes up. <clears throat> open intelligence, always shining, shining forth. And that's what we um, more and more bring in the foreground in our um, perception when we recognize open intelligence at the basis of everything. So open intelligence in all data streams, and data streams are all our thoughts, emotions, and sensations, so everything that we can experience, we can just simplify and call data. We see that they are inseparable, open intelligence and data streams. Like the breeze is inseparable from the air. If we try to, we cannot separate them out. It's just impossible, and the same is with, with open intelligence and data. And that's a big relief because we don't need to try to change our data streams in order to recognize open intelligence. So before I came to this training, I thought I need to... Open intelligence is there, or whatever I called open intelligence, and I have here my data streams, all my thoughts and emotions, and I need to work on them in order to get to a, a state of maybe ease or relaxation or stability or whatever I was striving for. And when I came to this training, I was introduced that into this inseparability of data and open intelligence, recognizing that they are not something separate, but really inseparable, that I can just allow it to be as it is, all my data stream, can, I can allow them to be as they are. Nothing needs to change with my data stream in order to recognize open intelligence, as open intelligence and data are inseparable. That that clears away all our, our um, striving of trying to be a certain person with having certain kinds of data streams. When data, when open intelligence is shining through all data streams, then it doesn't matter anymore what data comes up. Open intelligence always there. We can recognize. We can totally relax in that moment. Nothing needs to change in our experience for. For, in order for us to recognize open intelligence, to feel stable, to feel empowered, to feel completely at ease and know what to do and how to act. It's amazing to see that. Even when, when data streams like jealousy pop up, where we may thought we are completely at the whim of our data streams of jealousy and being completely washed away, maybe acting in a way that we, we know it's not beneficial but we just cannot help it because we are just washed away. But now we see that we have a choice in that moment to allow it to be as it is, to allow jealousy to be as it is, to allow anger to be as it is, or whatever comes up and see, wow, actually what happens is it opens up a complete vantage in us seeing how we can relate of most benefit in that moment. We have insights into each moment through the dynamic energy of of what we call maybe jealousy. It's just the dynamic energy of open intelligence that just will allow us to um, see clearly how we want to act that will be of most benefit. And in that way, all data streams are completely beneficial, have beneficial potency. Every data stream shining forth open intelligence, 
and support us in knowing how to be and how to act in that moment. When we allow it to be as it is without making it into something or without um, getting in, washed away in the storyline of, of this data stream. Just really opening up everything, seeing that we can be of complete, we have complete clear seeing in every moment, no matter the, <coughs> the thought emotion that comes up. And then we can really allow everything to come up as it is. Nothing need to be held at, at bay or need to change. Like I, for me, in my experience, I never wanted to feel jealous. So I put all my effort and energy into not to feel jealousy. I, I mean, I always try to keep it so down. I, it was like, if you're a good person, you don't feel jealousy. That was my idea of, of a human being. And I put all emphasis on that. And so much effort and energy went into it, not to feel good, feel that. And of course, it was my wish to be of benefit. But when I came to this training and allowing that to be as it is, that opened up completely. And of course, then jealousy popped up and I'm like, wow, what, what, what came up there now? But, I, but allowing it to be as it is, I could see like there's nothing wrong with the jealousy. Nothing wrong with this. It's actually the dynamic energy of open intelligence. And I just put all my energy into bottling it down that was now completely available to be of, of benefit that wasn't needed anymore to keep anything at bay. I could feel it fully and I knew I didn't need to act on it. It's so powerful when we more and more be empowered that we see, wow, we are not at the whim of our data stream. Then we can really allow everything to come up, be as it is and see clearly how we want to um, be in each moment and additionally it opened me up of complete compassion to everyone who feels jealous where I've bef before I because I thought it's not good to have I, I didn't have any connection when people felt jealous I couldn't understand why but now allowing myself to feel it fully suddenly I could understand I could deeply understand where everybody is coming from so that's amazing we open up to that Completely, because all the experience, all the thoughts, emotions, sensations that we that come up, the whole spectrum of, of data streams, it's so it's so natural to each human being. So it's nothing unique to us or unique to that certain person or anything like that. So we more and more just get to know ourselves as we truly are as human beings, and then can just completely connect with everyone in a very natural way, uncontrived. That's what I see also more and more. Nothing needs to be contrived in our experience. Through open intelligence, we naturally feel connected. We naturally feel compassionate. We naturally know what to do and how to be of benefit. Nothing needs to be contrived anymore. Before I came to this training, I always wanted to be good. I wanted to be helping people. You know, so much effort that was efforting. And now it's just like complete effortless in that. But of course, it's natural to feel that. It's just the, the wanting to be of benefit and opening up that feeling of contrivance. We're just opening up and then we can just allow our complete natural motivation to, to be of benefit, just take over naturally. So no data stream needs to be gotten rid of. None of the data streams that come up for us. And that's a big relief because all that energy that went into trying to rearrange ourselves and others just drops away and we just have so much more clarity, so much more space to be available for other people. If we are not lost in our stories around everything, we can just be available. We can see what is needed. All the distraction of our data streams, all our stories, all our thoughts and emotions, they can do whatever they will. Maybe they pop up, and but it's more in the background. Like we could hear before the kids playing there outside, they're just like fading in the background, there's just undistracted, the data can do the same, but it doesn't matter what comes up. We just, we can just allow everything to be as it is and really feel empowered in every moment. Using our mind in that way, I mean, it's, it's just most, most amazing to do that because then we just know really in every moment how we can contribute to the benefit of all, to ourselves and others. It's natural to us. And that's also why it's so simple. So we really can test it out, that, that um, instruction. And if we are new today, we just, we can um, go about today and just test the short moments out. 
every time we remember to do so, we just allow ourselves to rest body and mind for short moments, cutting the storyline of any thought or, or anything like that. And that we repeat again and again, whenever we naturally remember to do so. Then we can come back tomorrow again and come to the open meeting. It's so powerful to come to a few open meetings. That's what I did initially. When I came the first time, I, I liked what I heard and there was a ring of truth there that felt like really compelling. And, and then I, um, I was invited to just come back a few times. And um, I'm so grateful that I did that because more and more I could see and more and more I understood very quickly also the um, benefits in my life by doing taking short moments whenever I naturally remember to do so. They are so immediate and we can do them everywhere we are. Wherever we are from, with whatever we are involved with, whatever we do in our life, short moments we can apply completely in, with everything. And then if we want to have support in taking short moments, also possibly in di more difficult times, we have the whole support structure of the Four Mainstays. It's always available at all times to point us back to open intelligence again and again. Again and again, this is the purpose of the Four Mainstays, to really bring that up alive in our everyday life. The short moments, recognizing open intelligence is always present. It's always present, if we recognize it or not, it's, it's always present. So it's just about for us to recognize it and get familiar with that way of seeing things, where we maybe just focused on our data streams, honed into our data streams. Now we see that, oh wow, there's another aspect about our data streams that I've maybe not noticed every time. So we allow ourselves to notice that again and again in a short moment. And then we can see what happens. It's, it's magical, it's powerful. It really changes the way we see things. It's changed the way we speak. We change the way we relate to people. Very natural though, very, very natural and of most benefit. It's just completely natural and uncontrived and testing it out every day. We test it out to take a few short moments. <laughs>